Hi, let's see. Let's talk a little bit, just a little bit about gallium. There's really a ton of videos out there on how you can melt gallium with your own hand. And it's uh, one of those metals where a lot of people will buy it just for the fun and novelty of melting it with your hands and then letting it um, solidify again once it, the environment gets cold. I don't want to hold it here so long that it's going to start melting because it's just going to be messy. It's not like mercury, a metal that will flow right through my fingers here and not get coated. Here it's just going to get all over my gloves and it's just going to be a mess. And like I said, there's a lot of YouTube videos out there on what this metal looks like. In its solid form, it's a metal that is very hard, uh, looks uh, nice and shiny bright, no tinge of color whatsoever. And um, this is what happens when you spill some and you <laughs> leave it for a side. I'm like, oh, so we can use this as a little sample. Um, this is gallium metal. Oh, I lied. It does have a, a blue sheen to it. It's, it's not completely without color. Uh, if you look at other metals next to it, you will notice a slight blue tinge to it. Uh, here is a kilogram, a thousand grams of gallium comes from the laboratory and these little um, cups here that uh, contain a thousand grams and so we'll sell these by the kilogram or sometimes we'll just, uh, oftentimes most of our customers will buy it uh, in smaller amounts, 20 grams, 50 grams. So we have a, a dedicated team here that does nothing but gallium melt, melt it in a little special oven and weigh it out and put them in these uh, snap lock type uh, containers to sell to customers. Not my favorite element only because it, it gets everywhere and makes for gray stains that are not fun to have to get out. But anyway, that's Gallium. This is Raciel for Luciteria.